Hello, welcome back. Today I want to talk to you about the human eye. You know, I've always been incredibly fascinated about the human body, in particular the human eye. It's the main way in which we view the world around us, build mental images of everything around us, and it's an incredible organ. Here are 10 amazing facts about the human eye. Fact number one. One of the most impressive things about the human eye is its ability to detect over 10 million different colors. This is thanks to the presence of special cells called cones in the retina, which are sensitive to different wavelengths of light. These cones are responsible for our ability to see a wide range of colors, from the deep reds and purples of a sunset to the bright greens and yellows of a summer meadow. Fact number two. The human eye has the ability to process visual information at an incredible rate. The eye is able to process images at a rate of up to 60 frames per second, which is faster than most high-definition televisions. That allows us to see the world around us in a smooth and continuous manner rather than as a series of jerky, stuttered images. Fact number three. The human eye is also able to adjust to different levels of light, allowing us to see both in very bright, sunlit conditions and in dimly lit rooms. This is thanks to the presence of special cells called rods in the retina, which are sensitive to light and darkness. In bright light, the rods are less active, allowing us to see more colors clearly. In low light conditions, the rods become more active, allowing us to see objects that are not as well lit. Fact number four. The human eye has the ability to distinguish between subtle shades of color even in low light conditions. This is thanks to the presence of a special pigment in the retina called rhodopsin, which is sensitive to light in the violet to blue range of the spectrum. Rhodopsin helps us to see colors more vividly and clearly even in low light conditions. Fact number five. The human eye has a built-in correction mechanism for nearsightedness and farsightedness. This correction mechanism is called the crystalline lens, which is a flexible structure located behind the iris. The crystalline lens is able to change shape, allowing it to focus light onto the retina at different distances. In people who are nearsighted, the crystalline lens is too curved, causing light to focus in front of the retina instead of on it. In people who are farsighted, the crystalline lens is not curved enough, causing light to focus behind the retina. Fact number six. The eye has a self-cleaning mechanism called the tear film. The tear film is a thin layer of fluid that covers the surface of the eye to help remove dust, dirt, and other particles that may get into the eye. The tear film is constantly being produced by special glands in the eyelids and is constantly being refreshed as it's blinked away. This helps us to keep the surface of the eye clean and healthy. Fact number seven. The human eye can change shape to focus on objects that are both very close and very, very far away. The eye is able to focus on objects as close as three inches from the face thanks to a mechanism called accommodation. Accommodation is the process by which the crystalline lens changes shape to focus light onto the retina at different distances. The eye can also focus on objects that are infinitely far away thanks to the curvature of the cornea, which helps to bend light in the correct direction. Fact number eight. The human eye has a built-in reflex that protects it from bright light. This reflex is called the pupil reflex, and it's triggered when light enters the eye. When the pupil reflex is triggered, the pupil, which is the small circular opening in the center of the iris, constricts and reduces the amount of light entering the eye to prevent damage. Fact number nine. The eye is very, very sensitive. The eye can detect even the smallest changes in light, and it can adjust to bright and dim lighting conditions in a matter of seconds. In fact, the eye is so sensitive that it can detect a single photon of light, which is the smallest unit of light that can exist. Fact number 10. The eye is constantly moving. To keep our vision sharp and clear, our eyes are constantly making small, rapid movements known as saccades. These movements help to keep our eyes focused on a particular point and allow us to take in a wide field of view. 
there's a related phenomenon, which I didn't even put on the list, which I find more interesting than all of them, called cicadic masking, right? Cicadic masking. What that is, is as the eyes dart around, the visual processing of the images going into our brain in the, in the visual cortex of our brain actually temporarily turns off during the movement, the automatic moving of our eyes, movement of our eyes. So as you walk around, try to take conscious notice of yourself. You're always moving your eyes all the time. And that is a way for our brain and our eyes to scan the environment, to always kind of like move around and get the maximum acuity from all parts of the visual scene. But during the movement process, we would have a very blurry image. So the brain, evolutionarily, has evolved to turn itself off while the eye moves and then the visual processing turns back on after the movement stops. This is completely automatic. We don't think about it. We don't even know it's happening, but it is happening because otherwise we would have a blurry image of our environment. I hope you've enjoyed learning about the human eye with me. We plan to learn together as we go forward and I'll see you in the next one.